Back at Oakwell, can we get another three points? What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I apologise about the dead trim, but we're back. It's the best day of the week. It's game day. We're now Saturday morning. Match day two, technically not, but of the restart is match day two. Off the back of last week, we did pick up a beautiful 1-0 win away at QPR. Today, we're back at home. Unfortunately, we know none of us are back at Oakwell. I'm not at Oakwell. You're not at Oakwell. Just the players and the coaching staff. But yeah, we take on Millwall today in a, every game's a must-win game, but another must-win game today, we take on Millwall. They are looking good this year, they do have a very good chance of being able to get into that playoff spot if they do pick up a decent run between now and the end of the season. Um, they came off the back of a 3-2 defeat to Derby, which was unfortunate for them. Um, earlier in the season, we did pick up a 2-1 win sorry at their place with a last minute goal Patrick Schmidt header that was a beautiful win that was a great win so yeah we're back today obviously it's not a normal vlog because no one could go to the games but it's another live match reaction vlog same as last week which I actually did quite well on my channel last week I asked for 20 likes so this week I'm going to ask for 30 likes can we hit 30 likes on the video once again, we've got a guest on the channel, a fellow Barnsley fan. If your team are coming up to Oakwell or we're travelling down to you and you want to feature on my channel, um, just drop me a comment or message me on my social medias. They are in my description. Are you a Barnsley fan and you want to come on? I'm going to try and get someone new on each week. So today, we have got Bailey, who actually is a fellow Barnsley vlogger. His um, channel will be on the screen when he's speaking and his links will be in the description. But for this game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Reds prediction. Uh, Woodrow and Jacob Brown on the score sheets. I'm off for 2-1 Reds. Let's see what Bailey's got to say and then I'll see you when the team news is out. Yeah, it was actually like the um, send a clip in today. Give me a score prediction and thoughts um, on game against Millwall. Um, obviously last time we played them, uh, we bet them uh, for, for the last minute. Um, Patrick Smith goal. Um, but in this game, it's the last game we won one though against QPI. A pretty good performance but um, Today, it, it'll, it'll be hard against um, Millwall, to be honest. Um, they're a good team, but I don't think they've got anyone individually who can really, really hurt us. But I think, as a team, they work really, really well. Maybe a bit like us, um, in some respects. Uh, at, at times, obviously, not obviously all the time. But, um, Fox score prediction today, I'm going to back us for a 2-1 win. Um, I'm not, I, I don't, it's weird, but I'm not feeling really confident, but I don't want to be negative, so I'm going to go with so yeah, enjoy the video and thanks for letting me come on. As you can see, Team News is the exact same team as last week, unchanged, starting XI. The game is about to kick off. Let's hope we can start well. I'll get back to you when anything happens. Come on, you Reds. 15 minutes in, there's been no real chances as of yet. Both teams are just slowly easing into the game. 50-50 possession and no real chances, like I say. Uh, we're looking to get on the ball a bit more and try to stop going for them long balls because Millwall have a lot of tall players. So hopefully we can get on the ball and create some chances. 15 minutes, still nil nil. Well, 20 minutes in and uh, we had a free kick. It was looping just below crossbar. Straight out middle, keep it tipped over the bar. Then Millwall's going and got a free kick. I'm not actually sure what the free kick was for. He never showed any replay of a foul or anything. He's going to kill it in, going in top corner, hit the crossbar, come down and we've cleared it. It should really be 1-0 to Millwall, and we've got away with that. So, that is very lucky from us. Very lucky. We should be 1-0 down. Half-time, Bowser nil, Millwall nil. We somehow are not 1-0 down. Millwall have had the main free kick. They've had a few goal mile scrambles that could have easily been the opening goal for them. We have looked like we've got no plan B. Uh, they're a very good structured side. We're struggling to break them down. We've had a few half chances, but nothing major. We'll have to change something in the second half, but for now it's 0-0 at half-time. Into the 60th minute, the second half has been just how the first half ended with them being on top of us and trying to expose us down the wide sides. We, When we get the ball up, we can't hold it up for long enough. Um, we've made two subs. Styles have come on for Ritzmeyer and Chaplin has come on for Simoes. Uh, 60 minutes in, like I say, it's starting to absolutely bash it down with rain in Barnsley right now. So um, I do believe they'll nick a goal and they'll end up winning 1-0, but... At the moment, it's still 0-0 after an hour. 
87th minute, it's still 0-0. Millwall being the better team on paper, but this game is just slowly fading out, as I say. Um, realistically, if this was end a draw, a draw against Millwall is a solid point. But with where we are on the table and the likes of Luton and Charlton winning, a point's not so good for us. But there's a couple of minutes left. We could still win it, we could still lose it. We are in as I speak. Great defending from the Millwall centre-half, but still 0-0, 88th minute. It's going to be probably going to end as it is, but we'll see. There we go, guys. Full time. It's end of Barnsley nil, Millwall nil. When you look at that on paper, keeping Millwall to nil is a very good achievement. But when you're in the situation we're in, we really needed the three points. A draw is probably better for them than it is for us, I would say. But um, we're back to the bottom of the league. We are now only three points adrift. But Hull, Middlesbrough and a couple other teams down there still have to play. If all of them do somehow lose three points, it's not too bad. But... Yeah, we should have really we had to win today, but like someone said on Twitter feed, you can't expect to go and beat Millwall and beat all these teams. Just because we're so desperate for points doesn't mean we should be winning, because these are some good teams that we're playing, but unfortunately, we've come away nil-nil. Great defensive effort, but we've just not got enough up front to punish anybody with the chances we do have, but that's it. Nil-nil, back again Tuesday night against Blackburn. I can't see us getting anything against them, if I'm honest, but we will see. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on Tuesday.